Shit just got real. Infinite Sikiomi has officially launched. Houston, we have liftoff. Obviously, everyone doesn't know what the fuck is going on, considering that you're not looking up at the moon every five seconds, and most of everyone doesn't know the moon I plan, so it takes some people to look up at the sky to notice how fucked they are. Meteors and shit still flying down from last chapter, everyone dodging and shit. The, it seems like the world is kind of shaking, like having a tremor kind of, uh, as it's like getting ready to induce people into the infinite Sikiomi. So everyone ducking and dodging uh fucking meteors and then Shikamaru comes out of nowhere and states the fucking obvious. The smartest person probably out on the battlefield states the fucking smartest thing. Naruto's cloak is gone and the tree is gone. Great observation. Even Kiba is scared, bro. Kiba's like, look at the moon. Oh my god. We're about to die. Shit, Tsunade already know what's up. She, I think she knows about the plan just from her knowing all the information. But the third Hokage has no idea what the fuck is going on. But Sasuke realizes that shit is about to go down. So this nigga on some Gundam type shit fucking flying around and shit. Around the fucking sky, like, this is a suit on I've never seen it with wings. I don't know if they showed it last chapter, but this nigga just flying around and shit, slicing up rocks. And then, of course, Naruto has to do his part to help destroy the meteors. This nigga could reach, like, a uh, seven or something, huge, giant bijou rocks and shurikens and just, like, chucking all these rocks and shurikens at the rocks. And he's like, Sasuke, don't get in my way. You're going to get blown up. Sasuke, you're like, nigga, please. I can fucking do what I want. And it seems like everyone getting some uh, screen time in this chapter. We even see Ten Ten getting fucking rolled across the ground. And the scroll rolls out with the ninja sacred tools. He's talking about, oh, I think I can seal the... the. I think I'll be able to seal Madara with, these, with this equipment. But I need to ask the Cloud Ninja how to use it. Bitch, you better go night-night. What the fuck you gonna need those tools for? Madara continues to talk about finally becoming one with Kaguya. I don't know, uh, I could con consider... So this crazy bitch has an image in Madara's mind, or she just has a pa panel of her sitting over the fucking ninja world, praying upon it with that big-ass ugly eye in the middle of her head. And after that scene, it seems that... The Jutsu has finally reached the people. Everybody up in a trance. She got me in a trance. Booty had me like. While everyone's getting uh, fucking mesmerized by the Infinite Sikiyomi, uh, the Ido Kage is just like, what the fuck is happening? This shit's not affecting me. But I really, like, it really, it got into my head that this Jutsu is gonna fuck everybody up. When I saw Orochi Maru, get mesmerized. Now you know when the slick bitch himself gets mesmerized, everybody else is fucked. And for all you niggas that have been worried about B crying and <laughs> where's B? Did B die with the ATS? No, nigga. B has used his escape tactics, got away in a tentacle. That nigga fine. Don't worry about him. Everybody across the land of fire is being affected. You cannot hide from Infinity Sikiyomi. You and your temple and shit. I'ma find your ass. That shit mesmerizes the fire lords or the fire elders or whatever the fuck they're called. I don't remember, but it's too late. It's reaching every. And after that has taken effect, Madara seems to activate a second wave of the Infinite Sikiyomi, which is basically the second part of it. And he activates a jutsu called Birth of the Sea of Trees. So that's what it's translated to. So it's just. Uh, bringing up the God's Tree's branches across the entire ninja world. I guess that's what you can... That's that's what happened, basically. So the tree starts whipping out uh, fucking branches everywhere. And then that shit starts mummifying niggas like we saw in the Kaguya flashback. It's basically wrapping everyone up while they're mesmerized. Even the whole the Kages, he not to cry for Naruto while she gets wrapped up. Then we go back to Naruto and Sasuke, each of them right side by side. Uh, Naruto and Sasuke both in the uh, inside of the Susano. Naruto's looking down and seeing what's happening. To everyone, he's you know how he is. He got to rush down and save everyone. Superman. Sasuke's like, Naruto, get your ass back in here. Do you want to get fucked up? Do you do you want that to happen to you? Do you? Stay your ass in here. Sasuke closes his wings as a protection veil to cover everyone inside the Susanoo, including Naruto and I think Team 7. As I predicted, 
Sasuke is immune to the Infinite Sukiyomi because of his special Rinnegan eye. And it seems that the Susano itself can block the light from the moon, uh, basically making anyone who can't see the light is not affected by the Infinite Sukiyomi. So Sasuke is like, everyone, stay in here. He got the whole Team 7 squad on deck. Everybody, stay in here. The only reason you're not being fucked up right now is because you're in my Susano. We got a whole bunch of niggas outside, so if you want to try to get past that Jutsu, moderate clones are going to fuck you up. If me and Naruto go, there's no hope. There's no hope. Second Hokage is still walking around looking at these mummified uh, fucking bodies hanging from the ceiling like Spider-Man or some shit. Shit, he like, shit, it doesn't affect me. He walking around trying to figure out what's going on. He looking at shit. As we predicted, Spyro Zetsu is Yamato. He basically says, I have no longer use for your dumb ass. Uh, Madara is affected by the infinite Sukiyomi, but Spyro Zetsu tosses him out, and Third Hokage recognizes him. But I still don't know why Sasuke is sheltering these niggas. I mean, you're an Avenger, you're some dark dude, why don't you just do it by yourself since you like to do stuff like that? I mean, if anything, I would kick that fucking bitch Sakura out because she liked to be going into stuff without even knowing what the fuck she doing. I would have been like, Move, bitch, get out the way. Get out the way, bitch. Fuck out my Susano, bitch. Oh, useless ass nigga. In the end panel, we have Minato. Minato sits a waking up from the Madara guy battle where he fucking got bombarded with like six of those black balls. That nigga wakes up with no fucking arm. That nigga just laid out on the ground. He wakes up, his fucking Hokage cloak sitting on the ground off of him he's just sitting there with no arms just trying to figure out what the fuck is going on since he's Edo uh he's really not affected and on the last panel everyone's just trying to figure out what the fuck is going on because if you're outside of the leaf village or higher up leaf rings you really don't know what the fuck oh wait they do know what the moon's eye plan is the whole the kage wise but all the other ninja they probably don't know what the fuck it is because toby explained it at the five kage summit what he wanted to do so that's what's happening most of my theory seems to be coming together somewhat uh 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 i'm really excited to see how this is basically i'm kind of liking the story development right now uh naruto's wrapping up pretty well i think so like one of my subscribers said it's wrapping up pretty well and i can't wait to see the next chat thank you for watching see you guys later